Today I'm going to be answering one of your questions on how to get Spectrafix to work without leaving splatters all over your pastel work. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. Today's question comes from Alana, who asks, how do you use Spectrafix without getting spots? I use a fine mist sprayer and I still get spots. The products that Alana is using, are using, are using. Grammar is not what you're here for today. Are the Spectrafix and then a fine mist sprayer. So Spectrafix is what I personally use when I do pan pastels. Now I don't do normal pastel work with pencils and, and blocks. If you've been around for very long, you've heard me rant and complain about that. I can't stand the feel on my hands. Beautiful medium. I'm too neurotic for it. So anyway, when I use pan pastels and colored pencil, this is what I use for that combination is the Spectrafix Fixative. Now I use this as I'm working. I've got a couple of tips for you while using this one. I really like the fine mist sprayer. This, actually one of you guys suggested to me, will make this not so, not have such heavy droplets. When you mist this over your work, you will inevitably, even with a fine mist sprayer, you are going to get some heavier droplets. It's just the nature of the medium. Um, it's worse in when you come straight out of the tube, so the fine mist sprayer helps so much. Now the thing is, it's gonna happen. I have yet to perfect the skill of never getting droplets on my work. The thing is, it's not a big deal. It's not, it's not really hurting anything. All you're gonna do where you do have a droplet, it's like a little spit that comes out, a heavier, well, a heavier droplet. I'm bad at words. I just take my finger and lightly smudge that area out. There are a few things that you can do to help minimize this. One, do not spray up close. You don't want your artwork here and the spray here. Get, keep that back pretty far. The other thing is work this in really, really light layers. Don't just splatter this on. We're not trying to do a varnish that makes it so the pastel never moves again. I mean, it'd be wonderful if it did, but you're not gonna have results you like if that's what you're doing. This is a very light layer type thing. That is going to typically come out a lot better and not have as many heavier droplets. When you're really laying that on there, you're going to have well, you're gonna have heavy droplets. How many times have I said droplets in this video? Too many. Maybe we should start calling them spit spots. That's not very creative. But again, when I'm spraying this, I want it to be eh, at least this far, maybe a little bit farther away. It's, it's a decent ways away from the artwork itself. And really, like I can't stress this part enough. When I say light layers, here's another thing I found. If you do a light layer, don't immediately do another light layer on top. Let that first light layer dry. When you put another one on top, if that spits on the same area that already had a droplet, it's like that one droplet, the first droplet just gets bigger and bigger and bigger as you keep adding to it. So each layer, let it dry, and it doesn't take that long for it to dry. But it, I mean, I can't give you an exact time because it depends on your specific humidity and the airflow in the room and all that fun stuff. But usually a couple of minutes is enough that I can then put another layer. If I do want a heavier layer, it's gotta be multiple light layers drying in between. But again, you're gonna have, it's inevitably going to spit on you sometimes. It's just what it does. This bottle, the spray bottle, which Alana, you're already using, this does help, but it's not going to completely prevent it. It will just make it a little less annoying. But it's, I almost think of it like when I'm painting and I'm using a brush that I love, but it sheds. If I wanna use that brush, I'm gonna have to pick hairs out of the canvas. That's just how it goes. And that's kind of the thing when I use the Spectrafix, it is going to leave some droplets there. Like I said, we can minimize it, it's gonna happen. And I'm just gonna lightly soften that out with my finger wherever it did leave a droplet or blend over it. So probably not the complete solution you were hoping for, but that's been my experience so far. Do you have a question you would like to have me answer in one of these vlogs? Let me know, I will have a link to the place on my website where you can submit that question. Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there, it's round, has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, YouTube probably still won't give you notifications, but you know, click it anyway. And I'll, maybe the notification icon will also let you know when I have new videos go up. You can also sign up to my email newsletter, it is free. I send out one email a week, I'm not gonna spam you. I don't like spam, I'm not doing that to you. Plus I'm very lazy, I don't have time to spam anybody. But I will up you, to, uh, up, up you date, I will up you date, I will update you once a week with whatever new videos I had go live, bye.